Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. It's about 10 to 4, October 6th, Sunday, 63 degrees, and it rained a lot of today. There was only a 40% chance of rain, which means it rains all day. I don't know how these weathermen get themselves paid. Um, if I had the accuracy, they do, and as a matter of fact, I do have about the accuracy, they do. That's why I'm not a millionaire day trading stock. All right, what am I up to today? Well, today is a shelf day, but let me just show you that God has a bit of a sense of humor. Remember all those leaves I cleaned up yesterday? You guys remember this rig, right? right? Stinking like hell, dripping gas all over the place. Well, remember I did such a nice job cleaning all these up? <laughs> the other half were about half of what was left all fell down again. So, so much for making progress. This really does stink like gas. I'm gonna have to spend a few minutes figuring out what its problem is. It doesn't really have an official gas shut off there, so I'm gonna have to figure out something. Another bike with a crappy gas tank. All right, um, oh yeah, back what I'm up to, shelves. Wally, Wally told me that those shelf brackets could handle my 200 pound carcass. It looks like Wally was right. I'll show you that in a second also. But this is what we're up to. So, Hopefully there's enough light. There. There we go. We're uh, putting a shelf over the door. And the door does miss that. Not by much, but it does miss it. And over this shelf, I'm going to put all the crap that I rarely use. Leaf blowers particularly would be a natural thing to go up over the shelf. That way they're somewhat in sight. So I don't forget I own them but yet they're out of the way and I don't, I don't have to look at them all the time or don't have to trip over them all the time or move them. I love it when stuff falls out of the ceiling like that. So that's first of all. Second of all, so I was looking at these brackets and according to the box they come out of at Home Depot, by the way, they cost just under two bucks each. It's the kind of stuff they say, just in case anybody wants to read it. Um, you know, warning, state of California tells you not to eat these. It doesn't say the weight they'll handle, but on the box they were in at Home Depot, they were good for 200 pounds. So I set up this little test here. I put uh, half the bracket on that shelf and the other half out here. Then I climbed the ladder, just like this. And I climbed up high enough so that I made sure I could hang on to the ceiling here or the you know, upper joist so I don't fall to my death. Then I stood on it. And as a matter of fact, almost all my weight, if you look at my feet, is on that bracket. And I'm kind of letting go and going back and forth because I'm rocking a little bit on it. And I got to tell you, it took it. It, um, it took 200 pounds. I didn't think it could. But Wally, you're right. You should win a prize. But unless you guess right on, the, uh, on the, what I paid for that all-terrain vehicle, you're going to have to wait till the next prize. Okay, folks. Um, There's about five minutes of your time. I need more more people guessing on what that thing, what I paid for that thing. Come on, asking price 400, that uh, ATC 200, 1984, asking price 400. Um, but when I got there, he broke the rope right in front of me, so obviously I got it at a discount. Um, anyway, folks, live, love, have a great time. We'll catch you on the next episode of the Horde which will probably be shortly, or maybe not. I don't know how far I'm going to get today. Um, 
Yeah, I woke up um, to go to the flea market and I checked the weather and it said the weather was going to be good. But deep down, I just kind of had a feeling it wasn't going to, the market wasn't going to open. I mean, I even checked the website for the market and it said it was going to open. But I just, you know, sometimes you wake up and you just say, nah, this ain't happening today. So next thing I knew, I uh, shut down all the alarm clocks. It typically takes at least two to get me moving. I shut them all down and uh, went back to sleep. And next thing I knew, it was 10.30 in the morning. And I was barely moving. Then I watched, uh, you know, some politics about our our great friends down in Washington shutting the government down. And, and you, you know, talk about a crew. Both parties. This is not political, but talk about a crew that shouldn't get paid, man. If I screwed up like that, boy, would I be in a heap of trouble. I, you, you know, once again, not being political, but. Uh, I, I guess our government was was set up for continuous compromise because you really, really kind of have a uh, a minority holding things up, right? The executive branch is held by one crew, the Senate is held by one crew, and though one crew holds the Congress. They don't, and, and they have the majority. I'm not going to debate whether or not they have the majority. They obviously do have the majority, but they do not have a, a complete lock, right? They don't, they don't own the Congress. It's not all that far off of, um, you, you know, 50-50, especially if you counted votes, right? Um, supposedly the party that's a minority for the Congress even though um, they didn't pick up all the seats they did, could have or should have or, you know, were out there. Um, they did get more votes in the last election than, than the, the crew that kept power. But anyway, I, I thought we were in a country of um, majority ruled. And then if uh, whatever is not enjoyed, you know, you vote the party that gave you what's not enjoyed out and you start fresh again. Um, I'm hoping these guys don't run up against the debt limit because that'll be a whole new interesting uh, ballpark. I do quite a bit of investing, though right now I'm not invested. I, uh, I'm out of the markets. Um, and if anything, for me, if they do default, that'll drive interest rates up, which will you, you know, make my investments more value, make it easier for me to invest for the future. But it's, it's just not, not good. The entire world gives the United States kind of the ability, like right now, we're printing money to basically uh, pay our bills. And the entire world is letting us do it because there's no other currency that's any good. And they're letting us do it because they, they think that, you know, should we, you know we're going to get our economy started again and that will, will be good for um, our, our, our money is still good even though we're printing it and devaluing it it's still it's still of more value than any other currency out there right um, if uh, we default they're not going to have that belief anymore and it's uh, it's going to be interesting it's going to be interesting for the entire world to be quite honest not just the United States you know you have everybody's base their beliefs on a currency being in a lot of respects as valuable as gold even though it's backed by nothing and uh... and if we default that belief that our currency is that valuable uh... would not work out um, which kind of makes you wonder if it's almost uh... it's almost treason right if if these parties let let things go into default right because you'll you you really you, you know, you're really weakening the power of the United States. A country is strong for a few reasons. I mean, it's, you know, hopefully morally strong, which, you, you know, has God on your side. Hopefully you're militarily strong, so if somebody kicks dirt in your face, you could kick the dirt back. And lastly, a, a country needs to be economically strong so that, you, you know, when you put sanctions someplace or if you... 
um, you know, want to donate aid to get a country to move in, in a democratic direction or whatever, you have the money to do that. So anyway, my little political rant. You can tell I watched uh, the political shows on Sunday morning. Y you know, I'm not leaning toward one party or the other. Uh, during this rant, they're, uh, they're both behaving poorly. But uh, we should not be in this con shape. This, sh this, this shouldn't be where it is. We shouldn't be on this kind of brink. They should have figured out a way of straightening this out before we, we found ourselves playing brinksmanship here. It's, it's, it's not the way to run a railroad, right? I mean, you know, that's like uh, borrowing money from the bank and telling them, y you know, if you don't do what I want, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to burn the casino down, right? That's not the way you should do things. All right, folks. Sorry for the rant. Live, love, have a great time. Tires down, handlebars up, and hopefully I'll make some more progress today. I just won't be a lazy uh, person who sleeps in. Thanks.